You can use conditional breakpoints while debugging to create a breakpoint that's only hit when a certain condition is true. This can be helpful, for example, when you're debugging through a for loop and you're only wanting the breakpoint to be hit on one of the iterations of that loop, or if you're debugging a complex application such as a server. Now, they're supported out of the box in VS Code's JavaScript and TypeScript debugger, uh, and then extensions can come along and add support for additional debuggers as well. So let's take a look at them in this JavaScript file, which is just setting up a very, very simple server. So here's my server. I'm just going to start debugging by pressing F5, and it's a Node.js program, so let's start. And I'm going to create a normal breakpoint here, and we'll see that when I go and I actually make a request using curl here, the breakpoint will be hit, and we get URL as slash in this case. If I go and I make another request, or slash dog here, then we get a URL of slash dog. Now, what if we only wanted to actually have this breakpoint hit not on every request, but only when a specific URL is requested? To do that, I can actually convert this breakpoint into a conditional breakpoint. So I'm going to right click on it, say edit breakpoint, and I'm going to say now the, what I'm typing here is the expression that I want to be true for when this breakpoint should be hit. So in this case, let's say URL. This is just a normal JavaScript expression. You can see I got my IntelliSense for the location and everything here. And I'm going to say URL equals slash cat. So now we've said that only when the URL requested is slash cat should this breakpoint be hit. So if I go and I request dog, it's not going to be hit. I go and request slash, it's not going to be hit. As soon as I request cat here, though, that breakpoint has been hit. So that is one use of conditional breakpoints is complex applications when you want to debug in when the uh, application gets into a certain state, such as when a specific URL is requested. Now, you can also just create a conditional breakpoint directly. So I'm going to remove this existing breakpoint by clicking on it. And instead of first creating a normal breakpoint and then saying edit breakpoint on it, you can actually just create a conditional breakpoint directly by going into the gutter and right clicking and saying add conditional breakpoint. And then you can type whatever expression you want here. So let's say URL equals slash dog. And now we have a nice conditional breakpoint all set up that is being hit again. So as I mentioned, this is supported out of the box for JavaScript and TypeScript debugging, and then extensions can add support for debuggers in other languages as well. So those are conditional breakpoints in VS Code.